You already know I'm back for yet another video. You feel me? Welcome to the family to all my new subscribers, bro. If you new here, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate the support and the love that y'all are showing me, bro. I get constant DMs, constant messages every day talking about <clears throat> I'm underrated this. I love your edits. Your edits are very like good, blah blah this, blah blah that. Man, that y'all know how much that made me feel, bro. Cause like I've come from, I've come a long way on this YouTube stuff, bro. I just wanna let y'all know, bro. Y'all are making me grind harder than ever, man. And oh, I got something on my lip. Um, bro. Oh, on my fuck lip. no. Long neck. Okay. Without further ado. Let's get into this video, you know what I'm saying? I know pretty much all of y'all have already read the title. This is gonna be a crazy video, serious video. Um, yeah, it's about the time that I almost died. Yeah, this happened about two months ago. It was like a regular morning, like a regular school afternoon. Like I was, classes were ending. I had already taken all my finals. I was ready to go home, see my family, see my little brother, see my little sister, see my pops, see my bruh. I was ready to go home, go home. So, you know what I did? I got went and got my car. I was like, let me go grab some food to eat. To eat. Let me go put some gas in my car. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause my car was about empty. Kind of, it was kind of drizzling. It wasn't, it wasn't raining too hard, but it, you could tell it had been drizzling for a while outside. The floor, the ground was wet. There was puddles and stuff. I got in my car, started driving towards the highway, cause the the exit is literally one exit down, which is probably like a five minute drive. Got on the highway, got on the ramp to go up towards that exit, and you want to know what my car did? My car started hydroplaning. If you don't know what hydroplaning is, I'll put a little clip or something so y'all can kind of see it in action. But pretty much, I'm, I'm gonna just show you that clip. And soon the driver loses the ability to steer. That's pretty much what hydroplaning is. What happened was like, that started happening. My car started sliding. Like I was in the car sliding like this. Like, I was like, bro, what is going on with this car, bro? So I tried to, you know, I tried to brake, like slowly brake down, but that didn't even do nothing. As soon as I brake down, my like I was literally holding it straight. My wheel said, Argh! I was like, bro, like I wasn't even on the highway yet. The highway was up here. I was going up on it. The guardrail was right here. I went like like the I didn't go like that, but my car went like that. The steering wheel went like that. Imagine imagine that in your head. Next thing you know, your car is going towards the guardrail. Going towards the guardrail. To top that off, past the guardrail, it was a hill that just sloped down. And then it was trees. But, um... bro, are you good? Dang, I don't even... I don't even... I, I hate talking about this, bro. As soon as I hit the guardrail, my car flipped over it. Flipped over it, flipped clean straight over. Like it went like say this to guardrail. My car came at came at it like this. Boom. Flipped over it. Next thing you know, I'm in the car sitting here like this, rolling down the hill, just rolling. Rolling back and forth. I was literally paralyzed like this. I didn't want to move. Cause if I would have moved, I would have got killed. If you would see, I'ma show y'all pictures. Y'all already seen the probably seen the pictures by the thumbnail. But I'ma I'm gonna put a picture. I'm gonna put some pictures so y'all can see. Like, you see this? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna show y'all the video. I took some videos of this. I took videos of all of this. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all videos. Actually, right now. I could be dead. I could be dead right now, bro. Bro. I 
I was in that, bro. I was in that shit. Pick the Lord, bro. Thank you. Do you see this? Bro, I could be dead right now, bro. Cherish every moment you have on earth. Like, I could be dead right now, bro. Like, I could be dead right now, bro. Crazy, right? I was in that. The car was on its side. I was literally like this, turned on the side. And then when I had like unhooked the seatbelt, I fell to the bottom of the car and I felt the car like go like this and I got scared because I didn't want it to fall over and then I get smashed. So as soon as that happened, like the car was smoking, I could smell the smoke, everything was tore up. And you wanna know what happened like about me, like my physical state, I was just fine. No scratches, no bruises, nothing. No soreness, nothing. All because of him. All because of him. Everybody that's seen them pictures, everybody that's seen the crash has said there is no way I should have came out of that without a single scratch. Without a scratch. A bruise, nothing. I have nothing on me. I was just fine. I came out, like, I was literally about to get out the car, and then all the people was like, yo, are you okay? Are you okay? Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And I was like, yeah, I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Can you help me out? Like, and they were just sitting there, like, flabbergasted, just looking at me like, huh? How are you alive? Like, obviously, God says there's something. He has plans for me on this earth, bro, that I need to carry out, and I will carry them out for you. It's just, it's a matter of seeing what they are. Once I walked up the hill and I seen the car, it hit me like something just like, I don't know what happened. Like I wasn't, a, I'm not an emotional person at all. I really don't have, like I don't show my emotions at all. I, I tell you, like my mom knows this, my dad knows this. I really don't show emotions at all. Like, I'm not that type of person. But when I seen the car and how I'm like, my state, I was just fine. Immediately just thought about God and then my whole body my whole body started shaking and my voice started trembling because I couldn't believe that I'm, I'm I'm still alive from that. And then like once the police and everybody came, it was like you're gonna be sore tomorrow. So just to let you know you're probably gonna be hurting, you're gonna be in pain, you're gonna feel like you broke something. That's all it's all normal, it's just adrenaline. I didn't feel nothing. Not the next day, not the next week, not, not the next month. I still don't feel nothing. I'm just fine. God is amazing, bro. I cannot say that enough, man. He put me in so many like positions to be successful. Like he's answering all my prayers. Like if y'all ever have any problems, just sit, just take the time to sit down. Like it don't matter where you are. Sit down, put your hands together and pray. That's all you got to do. Just pray. Now, I promise you, he will answer your prayers some way or another. <sighs> Look at this. I'm getting goosebumps and stuff. I'm thinking about it again. So, yeah, after that, they asked me, the um, paramedics asked me if they wanted me to uh, take me to the hospital so I can get checked. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't, I don't need to go to the hospital. And they was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the hospital. And the police were like, you know how lucky you are to come out of that crash. I've seen people not come out of crashes that were much smaller than that. It's much, much smaller than that. Look at me trembling over my words again, stumbling over my words. My dad, he works in the automotive shop. And when he seen the car, he said he was, he was so like, I couldn't tell you the, like the shock on his face to know that I, nothing wrong with me, not a scratch, nothing. Mom, like I had called my mom, right? Cause like it was after the call, I mean, as, as soon as like I got out of there. Called my mom, I was like, yo, I was like, mom. My bo I was like, I was crying and I was sniffling. I was like, 
I don't even know how to explain it. Just know I was shaking up to the max. And my mom was like, she knew something was, she knew, she knew, it was like in a state of emergency. Like, cause I don't, I don't, I'm not even trying to act hard, but I don't cry about nothing. My dad told me that she, when she called him, she said, my baby is crying. And you know, he never cried. Oh, this, this about to make me, this about to make me tell. I ain't gonna add a little dude. <sighs> chill, 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 chill. <sighs> I'm finna. If, <laughs> do I have any tears, do I have any tears coming out? I hope not. <laughs> And trust me, you know I'm going to be much, much more careful in these roads. I don't care if I'm driving slow. I don't care if the people behind me honking at me. Get from behind what me, the? Bro, there's nobody back there. <laughs> Man. That's pretty much going to wrap it up, y'all. Once again, I want to thank y'all all for supporting the kid, man, on his journey. What? I'm not talking like that. Supporting the kid on my journey on YouTube. I thank y'all for watching me. And always, and always showing love, God, uh, love. I'm still something with them always, but always showing love to me. I really do appreciate it, and I, I, I love every. Oh my gosh, Mo, what are you doing? <laughs> I love each and every single one of you, bro. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Everybody that's new, thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you so much for leaving likes and supporting me. And yeah, Baker coming out real soon. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. This ain't, it's. <sighs> Bro, what is you know, that? I got something special coming for y'all in the next video. So make sure y'all turn on post notifications and be ready for that. You feel me? You dig what I'm saying? And yeah, I love every single one of y'all. And I'll catch y'all in the very next video. I match! <laughs>